Hey guys, welcome back to another new gameplay. And this is the indie game Early Access The Sapling. The game where you can evolve. I will narrate 5 millennia to see the plants and animals branch out. It's the first 100 years. And now the first start of plants and animals. The anim I tried to make the animals look like hamsters so that they can branch off into like the mammals like the mammals did. The plant is Wadalia and the animal is named Hyling. And so the plant has evolved new pair of leaves and more pairs to ensure the survival of their offspring. And so the animals still look the same, but if we look to the plants, some of the plant has evolved to grow taller to catch more sunlight and we see here the plant has evolved more leaves to catch more sunlight and here is the first plant to evolve harder bark aka the wood the plants have grown into a dense forest to give fruits to our animals and the, uh, the plant that we see earlier has now evolved to live on the northern side of the forest now here is we see the animals that once hyling has evolved and branch out into different animals. Like here we see a bigger animal with new mouth to eat nectar and evolve different color patterns on their fur. And so the circle of life still continues from death and born. The animals and plants will continue to evolve in the future. 500 years has passed since our last footage and now the plant has evolved more pair of leaves and better leaves to suit the environment. And here we see a plant that evolved new flowers that could be suitable for the plant for the animals that we see earlier. And here we see the first animal to evolve reptilian skin to combat the temperature and here, animals have grown bigger. And here we see a new animal that decide to evolve on fur instead of the reptilian skin we see earlier. We will let the animals and plants to evolve in 500 years. It's now 1 millennia or 1000 years later since the last footage we look in. The animals still kept the reptilian skin and formed new patterns and color schemes. And the plant has evolved stronger leaves to withstand the cold. The plant has evolved this new type of leaves to catch more sunlight. Most of the dense forest has moved into the east of the lake. And here we look and the animals has evolved new teeth and mouths, the descendants of the big furry animal. Two millennia has passed and the animals have evolved into weirder forms and like this animal which had big tail and now evolved tusk on that mouth. There is way more life, weird life forms that we have not yet to look at and the plant have have been successful as the wind resistance can lead them to diversification in the northern forest and the southern forest and here is the weird animal that has evolved arms on their back limbs a weird life form indeed the tall plants has evolved spikes to not get the animals to eat them and here we see a fatter and stubbier plant that could be well that's cause one but here they have put the energy in so many pairs to ensure their offspring to survive on the near next generation one millennia later into three millennium the world has changed this stubby and fat plant has now evolved harder bark and stronger leaves withstand the temperature and then we see 
The animals still retain their characteristic from their ancestors. The animal has evolved longer tails and new eyes to get more to get better eyesight. Here we see on the hillside, the plant has evolved harder bark and more pears to ensure the offspring to survive on the next. So far, no animal has yet to pass to the north to the east of the lake. Only plants has succeeded in the colonization of the east of the lake. And here we see the plant has put all their energy and has grown shorter due to the animals no longer eating them. Four millennia later, animals remain unchanged and the plants this st one stubbia has grown taller than their ancestors. On the hillside only this yellowish animals and over here we see plants that is tall. With some of the plants here has grown shorter with the animals no longer eating them. On the hillside over here the plant has grown taller to catch more sunlight as always. The animals has not yet to colonize the east of the lake. One millennia later, at five millennium, all of the animal species has went extinct except for this species, who now dominated the ex entire ecosystem with this huge backbone and their front limbs turned into arms. Only one species exists. And most of the plant species has all now grown shorter but the taller species has went extinct. And so evolution and extinction, born and death, the circle of life will continue even in five millennium later.